Okay, I want to show you the spin down technique that I use a ton when I'm editing videos. I feel like it just creates a little bit more of a dramatic effect rather than going to the end of a track and then cutting that into where you want the specific track to end. When I'm editing projects, I use it to amp up a moment like this. Or handing in our resignation letter to our boss. I quit. Yeah, you can't quit because you work for yourself. Well then maybe you should quit. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. The best thing about this is you can do it in any editor because it's just a free plugin that you can download. So I'm gonna show you how to do it using DaVinci Resolve right now. So let's dive in. Okay, so you can use Izito products in a bunch of different programs. Basically, if you can access VST plugins, you can access Izito. And if you've never heard of them before, they make some great plugins for video editing. They also make a ton of plugins for music production, and this happens to be one of them. But again, you can access it just in Premiere, Final Cut, or DaVinci the same way you would pretty much any other plugin. So let's download that. So you can see I have it downloaded here and I actually have their RX elements as well. It's probably one of my favorite plugins that they have for video editing, but let's dive into actually a use case for this. Okay, so this is a great example of where we could have used a spin down effect. Right now, I actually took the end of the track and you can see it kind of winds up perfectly with where I start speaking. Here's an audio track right here, but that did require some extra editing and maybe we don't want to do that. Maybe we're in a rush. Okay, so I just literally dragged out the clip I did cut it right here where I want the effect to start. So this is it before the effect. I seriously can't believe this worked. Test print went well. And Not that great of an outro to dive into a talking head bit, but if we dive into our audio effects and then drag on Isotope Vinyl, now, this is going to apply a bunch of different things, but I'm going to turn all of them off because all we want is the spin down effect. So we're gonna try to make just the spin down effect happen. And now you can see, if I back up here and play it. I seriously can't believe this worked. The test print went well, and this is it. This is a ton better. Maybe all we're gonna do is drag this fade a little bit, but honestly, that's leaps and bounds better than what we had before, and it creates such a natural end to the track. So every once in a while, this, this will happen when the plugin stops playing back and it just goes silent like this. And my workaround for this is actually diving into the Fairlight page, finding your audio, and then right clicking and bouncing the audio effects. That way it force renders them and replaces that little section. I seriously can't believe this. It no longer has to reference the plugin, so the playback will be smooth, but you won't actually be able to edit the plugin any further once you bounce it. So something to be aware of, but just a super quick fix for that. And that's it, it's literally as simple as that. So you can do the exact same thing inside Premiere with vinyl, but you can also bring your clip into Audition. So because I cut my audio before I sent it into Audition, I can just double click and select all, but if you didn't, you can just highlight a portion of it and then come up to effects, time and pitch, stretch and pitch process. And for this, we're going to cut the power and basically the same effect. So we can save out of that when you come back, the track has already been bounced over into Premiere. And that's literally all there is to it. That's one of my favorite effects for using audio and ending tracks in a little bit more of a dynamic way. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that helps. See you in the next one.